Africa is poor, underdeveloped, and there is nothing good from here. That is what the outside world thinks. But for the first time ever, I wanna show you the better side of our home. One month ago, I packed up everything and flew to a really small but beautiful country. This country is not in Europe. It's not in Asia either, but it's somewhere in Eastern Africa. This is the interesting story of a country that I call home called Uganda. It is a beautiful country in Eastern Africa that is very, very unique. And more than 45 million people call this country home. Here, tolerance is part of the culture because inside this country, Muslim mosques are built next to Hindu temples. Hindu temples are built right next to Christian churches and people of different religions live together. This country is home to some of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. In the remotest part of this country in Karamoja, I saw a national park that was so huge and very virgin right next to homesteads of some of the remotest tribes on the African continent. It's 5 a.m., very early in the morning, and we're going to visit a traditional Karamajong homestead. We're gonna see how cows are being milked. We're gonna get to know more about their culture. And of course, that's why we are dressed like this. I saw that it's possible for nature and humanity to coexist. And in the western region, I saw mountains that were very tall with very white snow. In Machishon and Sipi, we saw waterfalls which were so strong, so grand, and so beautiful. We have so many boats here, and guess what? It's time for a boat cruise. We're gonna be cruising on the River Nile, which is the longest river in the world. We're gonna see tons of animals on this exciting journey. But this country is not only about culture and nature, this country is also developing. It is one of the very few countries that have invested in sustainability. We've built a huge car plant where electric buses and electric cars are being manufactured, despite the country having millions of barrels of oil. Don't get me wrong, this African country still suffers from many challenges. Many public entities like the airport still suffer from corruption. Many young people can't find jobs. The entire country needs new and young leadership. And even something as simple as Facebook, it's blocked. But despite all of that, there is still a lot that we can see here. We can see that technology doesn't only exist in China or Japan. We can see that beauty doesn't only exist in Europe. And we can see that all of this can exist anywhere. That's why the next time you think of Africa, think of its technology. Think of this beautiful countryside because Africa is more than poverty, war and starving kids. <laughs>